This new agentic browser that is Comet browser just dropped in like few days back. It's by Perplexity. So uh, you might know Perplexity because they have uh, given a free one year subscription with Airtel. So yeah, those who have Airtel SIM, they already got this uh, one year subscription. So yeah, let's talk about Comet. So it's a totally agentic browser. So we have seen um, few like AI agentic browsers coming in. Like few days back, uh, there was Dia, Dia browser also that was uh, by uh, the browser company. Yeah, browser company. So let's discuss how good it is. So it has agentic capabilities, but more than that, I'm liking their other features. I'll show one by one. So let's go to this whiteboard and see. Like I totally love uh, our browser and its sidebar and everything. So, but I am thinking of switching to Comet browser because it has got so many of cool features. First of all, this agentic browsing, like uh, it can, like the uh, agent it has, agent mode it has, it can do everything. Like um, a few days back, uh, OpenAI just dropped their agent uh, agent mode. Still, I prefer using this Comet browser ka agent mode because it's totally free for now. And also I am very much liking it. And uh, but this agentic uh, browsing all this stuff is uh, like a little bit fancy. Uh, the more uh, practical thing that I got uh, using this browser is like the quick summary. And the best part I got from this browser is the assistant mode with voice power. Like you can talk, literally talk to this voice, like voice assistant. And uh, suppose you don't understand a page or you want a guidance on how to like uh, suppose I am uh, in an AWS console. Uh, wait, I will show you the examples why I like the voice powered so much. So it's the best thing I like. And uh, yeah, let's show it you one by one. So let's show you uh, the agentic capabilities it has. So uh, let me go to uh, my uh, prompt. So uh, this thing, let me copy. And uh, I have a notion page and uh, I want to open up this assistant mode and prompt it that Please prepare a nice, short, interesting report with charts and tables and put it on the on this Notion page. This is a Notion page. So it will do all this uh, research. The topic is which is the best browser, Chrome, Brave, Arc, or Dia. So it will do the research and put up in this Notion, Notion page. So let's see how it goes. Let's um, send it and you will see everything in your eyes happening in, within your eyes. So it will first research about uh, which like this report to prepare this report and then you will see all the charts and tables coming up here you can see it has started putting up uh, all this info about the report that i have given so finally it is done so we have this nice great uh, detailed uh, report about which browser is the best so you can go and read it out but yeah so you can see how good it is like users give the prompt it will do the research and give the report with all tables and uh, i guess uh, it can't uh, like it has uh, not implemented the graph here but uh, in previous uh, like prompt like uh, when i used previously it was also able to uh, drop in the tables here so you can also tell it to implement the graphs and uh, drop in this notion page so you can see how good it is so let's go to our next agentic task that is uh, let me copy the prompt and uh, let me close this out and yeah so now i want to buy something like uh, uh, i want to buy few things for my youtube channel so please put together a list of items for my youtube channel essentials uh, my budget is this ten thousand finally go to uh, the amazon and put together the items in my cart so yeah let's see how it goes so it has started with its agentic mode so you can see it's searching and going to this and also it will go to below and add to cart which of the items uh, it has researched So finally, after a few long time, uh, we can see it has put uh, a few things on my list, on my cart. So what it has put, a uh, few windscreen, okay, cool. The mic, uh, caller mic, the uh, SD card, and uh, we have two stands. So uh, kind of okay, uh, the subtotal is around uh, 4,000 rupees. So kind of okay, but I'm not that much satisfied, but it's okay. So agentic uh, things are kind of fancy. 
also i uh, sometimes think upon the privacy stuff before using this agentic uh, functionalities but 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 so you have seen how good it is uh, in agenting modes also but let's go to my favorite part that is why i am why i want to switch to uh, this comet browser so uh, yeah let's first give you the summary feature like show you how this summary feature works so suppose i am in this youtube channel uh, um, watching this i want to watch this podcast and it's very long so i can just click on this uh, top right corner that this summarize button so we have this summarize button and when we click it it will analyze the video on this uh, youtube and it will give the key highlights moments and summarize this and you can also continue this conversation so we can just uh, type in what are like give me more uh, more of the insights you can just type in so yeah you can just here type in here and uh, uh, then what we have got suppose you have one of this uh, blog post that suppose uh, this is one blog post that is uh, by versal i was saw, seeing it so i can also summarize this so let's uh, summarize this current web page and it will summarize this for you but again i have one more another useful very useful feature for which i am uh, loving this comment browser so that is the voice assistant mode let's go to our main boss that is voice powered assistant so yeah suppose i want to like i am opening the same blog post and i want to understand by talking to it so what you can do is just uh, click on this voice mode and it will connect to the voice assistant here so you can ask uh, hello uh, i want to know about this web page that is this blog post that you are seeing current on current page please explain me this blog post introduces versel's new active cpu pricing model for their fluid compute platform mm -hmm. Fluid Compute is designed for workloads that often have idle time, like AI inference or agents, by sharing resources across requests. The new pricing means you only pay for... So you can see, you can just talk to it by going to this voice button. And uh, suppose I, I have an, another good use case that I found. So I was just uh, using, like, I was just uh, on my AWS console and I wanted to create a new Lambda function. So you, you I guess you know that uh, AWS has Lambda functions that is cloudless, uh, sorry, serverless. So I like, but uh, not just this creating a Lambda function, but anything, this could be anything. So you are confused, like I was confused in which of the options should I choose and what each of these uh, options mean. So what I do, uh, what I've done is just click on this voice mode uh, where is it? Yeah, it's getting connected and user can just talk to it. Hello. So I am just creating an AWS function. Can you tell what are these fields mean? What these fields mean? Sure. The function name field is where you provide a unique name for your function, describing its purpose. Mm -hmm. The runtime field, the permissions field is about defining what your function can access. By default, AWS creates a role that allows your so uh, you can see that how useful it is. So I am very much liking this voice mode. So I can um, go to any web page and talk to it. So these two features, that is the assistant, uh, voice assistant, and this quick summary thing, I am very much loving it very much. So like uh, I am uh, thinking of switching from Arc. That Arc was my favorite browser. Uh, because like the interface sidebar and everything but i am trying to think uh, i'm thinking of switching to comment browser so this uh, archify extension that i found so you can see this archify extension uh, is like similar to arc though so what it has like it has the uh, like uh, top tabs that we can add we have we can add some pinned websites and we can uh, have this uh, the the same type of feeling we can have it here using this archify extension so i have multiple spaces just like arc so in this comment browser, it's just like Chrome browser, like it's Chromium based. So this comment browser is just like Chrome browser. So this extension make uh, like this extension help us make uh, different profiles. I have home profile, I have web profile for now. So yeah, like uh, we can have these profiles. You can have uh, similar to our browser. So I am loving this Archify extension a lot. So I am thinking of switching uh, to comment browser. Let's see, let's see, uh, should I uh, switch or not? but you can see how powerful comment browser is. So uh, do join the waitlist and if you got the access, do give it a try. And I hope you like the video. If you like it, do give it a like, share, subscribe and all those stuff. And let's see in our next video. Till then, peace.